Hey YouTubers, it's Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. I thought I'd get back to you and mask again in solidarity with our need to resist uh, the fascists that are uh, actually coming out of the closet now, as it turns out. Uh, we can resist and we can fight them, but I wanted to get back to you and tell you that uh, <clears throat> I've taken some time off and I am going to be changing my personal life so that I can actually lean into my activism. And I want to thank all of you for all of your support. I'm in a much better mood. I did have a come to Jesus moment with myself about what happened the other day in Fukushima. Uh, we do have to, I, I personally have to get more serious. Um, and I want to thank Thomas Ackerman. This is a big shout out to Thomas Ackerman for uh, being a real friend and being honest with me about some thoughts that he had on my responses to some of his videos it forced me to examine my own behavior, and I want to tell them that I appreciate that. This is what we need. We need to be real friends with each other. Uh, we need to have real conversations about how we get, and, and in that we help each other improve. Um, so anyways, and I want to get, this is another thing I was thinking about. Tom's always talking about that conscience, and I always say we need self-love before we can ha act on our conscience. And I think that Tom is right uh, about this. Whether you love yourself or not, do the right thing. Act on your conscience. And maybe it's the opposite. Maybe, Tom, the position is really if you act on your conscience, you'll be able to actually love yourself. Maybe that will give yourself permission. So uh, this is kind of an example of how we help each other improve. I know I hit the wall the other day. I was very devastated by the earthquake in Fukushima and the complete like wall of silence that we've had towards it. It's been a wall of silence since the other day. I think the shit is about to really hit. I mean, it already has hit the fan, but I mean, I think we're going to find out far more things next week. Uh, please keep yourself out of the rain. If you're going to be in the rain, put a raincoat on, keep yourself protected. Um, put your courage feet on you guys. Get active. Please get active. Act your conscience, as Tom would say. And I want to, Thank Tom again for being a really good friend to me. And, um, you know, this has been the, the, this is the plus side of what's happened with Fukushima is that we all connected with each other and we're all buoying each other up and helping each other become A, better people and B, better activists to uh, really pay attention and stop Put a dent in the wall of the complete fascism that has literally enveloped our planet since World War II. I mean, it is the it, it's devastating, but you know what? We have the power to change it, and we can take it back. And um, I believe that we will. Now, I have renewed vigor. I'm going to be making some dramatic changes in my own life so that I can lean into this. And as uh, Tom says, do the work, do the work, do the work. I'm going to actually uh, force myself to get into the science of it all so I don't have to keep asking the same stupid questions over and over again because my retention on this is minimal. Uh, so I'm going to actually uh, practice what I preach and just get myself a little bit more firm in my concepts here on my own so anyways ah here's the little peace sign put your courage feet on you guys and uh you know buoy each other up buoy yourself up and um for those of us in the states it's weird to say happy thanksgiving when the government is attacking the first nations which is what they did at the first the first Thanksgiving, you know, I mean, we wiped them out after they helped us get through the first winters or so. So I guess not much has changed in the 250 years since this government's been around. But uh, you know what? We're a unique people because we're a blend of everybody. And I think the outrage at the uh, racism, the hell Trump mantra is freaking people out enough. Um, the militarization of New York City, spending a million dollars a day, like just so that his wife can stay in New York City. All of this is going to lead into getting people active. So let's take some action. And I'm going to be getting better on my own part. And I want to thank everybody for your beautiful support and loving words. Um,
I definitely feel better. I'm back to myself. Happiness is resistance, you know, so I'm resisting. I refuse to be unhappy. Ciao, you guys. Put your courage feet on. Bye.